Eyeball jar. It's an eyeball jar. Woo! What a smell! How do I get in room number three? Oh, that's retarded. Let's try pushing both buttons simultaneously. The two buttons are on opposite panels, so there's no way one person can push them both alone. But if two of us work together, it might do it. That's it, Gillian. It makes perfect sense. It's the same <laughs> system they used to use in nuclear missile silos in the late 20th Kojima century. Kojima makes the risk of one man going nuts and acting alone. Well, it's hard to be sure, but let's give it a try anyway. I've got button one. Random, you push number two. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Come on! At least we didn't have to do that Final Fantasy VII minigame. Shut up, like that, all of they must have had a good reason for wanting to keep it closed. Oh my god, stop talking. Save. God, everyone in this game is a blithering idiot. Ooh, it makes perfect sense. Ah! Good God! I read four human skeletons in this room. It's... it's their more. Perhaps victims of the Snatchers? Well, it doesn't look like whoever put them here was too worried about making sure they would rest in peace. No, it doesn't. These have got to be their victims. This is probably where they hide the bodies of the originals they snatch from places like Outer Heaven. They probably picked Outer Heaven because it gets a lot of VIP traffic. Plus, during masquerade time, they could work the place and still keep their identities secret. Yeah, and the guy who set up the link between them and Outer Heaven was Freddy, that taxi driver. They must have gone after him, not because of who he was, but what he did. After all, with a taxi... There's plenty of chances to milk your customers for information. That's probably how they learned about Outer Heaven and Plato's Cavern. I've been wondering what they had done with the bodies. Wanna hide a book? What better place than the library? Need to hide a body? How about the morgue? And for them, keeping the bodies hidden is crucial. I mean, if somebody who's supposed to be dead is out walking the streets, it wouldn't be too hard to figure out that something screwy is going on. That means that if we can figure out who these bodies were, then we just nailed four snatchers. You people are fucking brain dead. Hey, this music's awesome. Alright, so we're looking for a skeleton wearing overalls, I guess. Sure, the guy was recently snatched. God, that's vulgar. Oh, oxidate you! Alright, let's start examining these corpses. This flesh can't Metal Gear get DNA or something? Oh my god. Um, the insects infesting a decomposing body can be divided into eight large groups. Each of these groups works on the body. Right. Okay, okay, I get it. 
I don't really care about that. But sure, it's been dead a month. Alright. Tube liner. Fuck yes. <sighs> Cause of death is snatched. His teeth are right there. Don't, don't do this to me. How do you deliberately misalign teeth? I don't like where this is going at all. Now performing simulated reconstruction of the head and facial features of each of the four victims. This is Commencing another mini game. Now performing craniometric analysis, X-ray and sagittal X-ray, magnetic resonance imaging, and positron CT data gathered. Complete cranial data now being compiled. Craniometric analysis complete. Oh fuck now yes, spinning skulls. First, victim's age. Don't ruin the Testing moment, Metal Gear. A fucking skull is spinning. And chroma of epicranial sutures. Two, area of facial region and cranial. Shut up. Three, height of upper and lower jaw and development of fucking LVM hell, heart. robot. And Look how Location fucking fast that skull is going. Next, he is test. fucking Estimate spinning towards fucking battle Two, in Valhalla. And three, of God, you really Lastly, know how to fucking on just Overall ramble on like a little Two, shit, don't you? You're worse than me. Shut the fuck up, gay ass robot. You can't understand the fucking beauty of this fucking skull, it makes me want to go fucking play fucking Warhammer 40k. That's how great that fucking skull is. I hope one of the skulls is Napoleon, that would be fucking awesome and hilarious. God, if it were Napoleon, that would, or like, yeah, if it were Napoleon, that would be the best fucking twist ever. God, are you gonna take this long for all of them? Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Hmm. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of second victim. Yeah, it's completed. the chick. That's Lisa Nielsen. This Moving isn't helping. Victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number three. Now starting craniometric analysis. You understand? These are all people who killed already. Give me something I can work with, fucking gay robot. Using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Is this Benson? Estimate of victims race 10% based on use of average values. Ah, shut up. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of third victim complete. Oh, it's Chin Shuo. Who is that? That's the director of Queen's Hospital. Uh, Shin Fui, uh, what's his face? Uh, Shin Shu O, Gilliam. <laughs> Moving on to last victim. Now oh, this one's the most recent. It's still decomposing. It's Benson. Come on. Ah, it's Gillian. <gasps> Twist, guys. Craniometric analysis complete. It's random. It's Metal Gear. Reconstructing. Yes. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victims race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of final victim completed. What? What? 